Hello everybody, Howie Jones here again at foodforestpermaculture.ca or .com and this is the greenhouse I built out of recycled material. The glass came from an aviary that was taken down next door at Dave and Heather's and uh, was donated for the roof and it's tempered glass can't go wrong with tempered glass this was, this was an old greenhouse that was already here and I just reconditioned it a bit and uh, there used to be plastic panels in it and I took some of them out and kept some of them and but basically this most of the structure was already here so we'll go on in and have a look around and see what's in here and this is winter time now and this is uh, looking from outside in and that's a lemon tree in there and some avocados and let's go on in and have a look there we go oh boy it's a bit crowded and here we go oh some goji clones ginkgo biloba plant and some lemon trees you gotta have your lemon trees they're not very big here lots of gojis always plant lots of gojis little clones you know and uh, here's some lemon trees and oh here's all the vegetables that'll be up and out and about and this is a uh, avocado wintering in the greenhouse and there's a lemon tree Here's an avocado on the left there, I just transplanted. I don't think it lived though. Well, maybe. Yeah, here it is here. Yeah, I don't think it, that one made it, but uh, this one did. It was a Haas avocado. And this was another Haas there. Haas, however you want to say it. Depending what part of the country or countries you're from. And here's a big avocado. This is an Oreo Negra, I believe. It's still alive and in my foyer. It's beautiful. It's a nice avocado. Gonna be grafting a. Uh... Oh, here we go. Here's some uh, clones I made of Opuntia nopale or prickly pear cactus. Gotta love them. Tasty. Great for helping out the diabetes, you know. And here we go, a lemon tree, a little crispy on the top there. Here we go, this is a satsuma. Anything with a little chopstick in it, that's a satsuma. These are all tomatoes and cucumbers. and Those are lemons. This is winter time, hey? Well, just coming out of winter. And this is a Meyer lemon. And yeah, these are all little seedlings. They'll be up soon. Trays and trays and trays, you know, for friends and neighbors and for the food forest. Gotta plant everything all the time. There we go. Look at that. Primula. It's a beautiful eating primula. Nice big yellow flowers. Taste sweet. Mmm. Yummy. And more lemon trees. Lots of lemons. Can't ever have enough lemons and satsumas and limes. And you can grow them in an unheated greenhouse here. This takes a few years. And Look at that. Lots going on here. Winter time. The greenhouse gets up to like 45 or 50. I mean, it's warm. I mean, that's hot. Yet you can only be in there for so long. It's just you have to get out. So it's so nice. Oh, here's a Meyer lemon. It's only small there. Now today, that's five times the size of that. And here's the greenhouse, all for free. This was built from free materials. Took a little bit to gather it all up, but it didn't cost me nothing. We had to buy paint and some screws, you know, the little lag bolts. And and then a lot of the wood was here. It was an old greenhouse, so we just kind of reconditioned the one we had. But uh, the roof needed replacing. It was in rough shape. So 
so there we go look at this there's a little heat fan there's control some lighting some CO2 pump in yeah this is the middle of winter can you believe it sometimes hummingbirds come in here to warm up in the winter you just leave the window open and they'd be sitting here sitting and warming up it's funny they, they come right in great to see and these flowers are all painted on the glass you know by the Oak Bay Fine Arts Studio or artistic statement is called those guys showed up and did this for free you gotta like that of course they get salads and berries all the time too it's a great exchange look at this it snowed here this year that was it snowed yep doesn't look like much of a food forest now in the middle of winter sometimes it snows here sometimes it don't and sometimes the snow don't stay on it because it's warm there's action down in the ground there that keeps this place warm that's the fun part and here's an apple tree and some bird feeders and yeah you wouldn't think this is a food force this is a this food force now is quite a few years old, but it don't look like this. This is kale in the winter time. Shearer's dog tracks and you know, these are all the little fruit trees and look at this kale. Camby's lovage and all little treats when you're hungry. Look at that boy. Tasty. Lots of kale. Always lots of kale. This is the brush pile that you bury in the food forest. You gather it up here. We've collected it and put it into the compost here. And uh, we don't do that anymore. We put it directly into the pathways chopped up. But uh, it's up to you what you want to do. Do what feels good, feels right. But uh, we put it, we chop it up and put it directly into the pathways, and then we empty that twice a year. Or then, if we're building a Howie culture, Hugel culture, or permaculture, the brush goes right into your pit that you're digging. Or if it's above ground, it goes on top of on top of the ground. But if you've got a wet area, you wanna you wanna put the the the, the Hugel culture on top. But if you have a dry area. You want to put the Hugel culture underneath the ground. These are old farming techniques from Austria, but you know, you go with what you want to learn to do. And this is the food forest, and you may have seen other videos where you, there's a lot of activity. This is just, uh, this is when it's just starting out. This was a few years ago now. This is probably three, four years ago. But, uh, pretty nice to see the snow which we don't really get very often it's a nice treat and then we have a howie culture that we built over here and the snow don't stay on at all it's quite warm still it hits it and then it just dissipates so it's still quite warm and this is coffee grounds bark mulch and kitchen waste and it's just dug out of the out of the pathway and put onto here and this is what you get this beautiful black rich soil and uh in the spring we threw on some more of our out of our pathways and it was full of all the different squash we ate and they just grew all over the yard it was really neat to see and there's the mulberry and the apple and goji and the little bird house got to feed the birds birds killed the insects and bugs that you don't want you have to be bird friendly especially owls once the food forest grows a big canopy that takes care of the mice and rats and Norwegian roof rats and 
and a dog helps too the dog really chase away the mice and the cat while well, the cat kills them and eats them but they don't bother the birds because there's their the cats are fixed there's no little ones to train so we've never actually seen the birds get eaten by the cats here we really like cats and dogs the dogs keep the raccoons out this is a this is a nice uh, European plum here this is uh, needs pruning up soon especially from the bottom but uh, this is winter time and you don't want to touch the do the pruning when the plant when the tree is too cold because your hands warm and you're also going to scorch it on a cellular basis and harm the the tree you want to you want a nice mild day and wear a glove and and here we go here this, this these are all the greens and we use for salads and it's kind of neat you just dig out what you want when you want it and food force is right there that's the whole idea this is when it was young it's much older now and these the trees are much larger that's the sage herbs and it's not very big but you know what we get thousands of pounds of food out of this thousands and thousands of pounds every year we give it all away to neighbors and